Hi, I'm Wan from Malaysia and I've been a supporter of Weather Bremen for 70 years now. Hi Wan, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. I'm very glad to speak to you. First of all, Eid Mubarak. <laughs> Thank you very much, Eid Mubarak. I usually send out at this time a GIF of yeah. coconut water, which I've already sent yeah, yeah. to you. I saw. I saw the, <laughs> but uh, what I want to talk to you about is the picture you sent me. Yeah, rendang. I, I mean, the dish of uh, Eid Mubarak in Malaysia. Uh, it's, it's called uh, rendang. So it's a lot of uh, spice and uh, we also add a coconut milk <laughs> for that. So it's, it's something like curry. All right. But uh, it, it is a very dry curry. Uh, so if you can you can cook with a uh, chicken, uh, beef or lamb or mutton wow. or, or even uh, duck. Mm-hmm. So even some people in in uh, East Malaysia they cook with fish. Oh, okay. This is this is one of the reasons why I do this podcast, man. Getting to talk to guys like you. Yeah. How does a guy from Malaysia end up supporting Word of Bremen? Where does that journey for you with Word of Bremen start? The journey. Is- start back in uh, 2003 all right i was only eight years old uh, so there's a vendor of a newspaper vendor outside of my school that uh, always always uh, selling a uh, sport newspaper so okay. i always buy the, the the newspaper the newspaper show all the standings of a uh, five league okay of european okay. european football mm-hmm. so one of the league that you know uh, i always look is a uh, bundesliga okay because okay. at that time bayern munich was a very big team but i was very awkward to see bremen on top mm-hmm. at the time yeah. it's number two or number one at the time so uh, throughout the year they they sometime at uh, the second place or sometime at the top but at the end of the year <laughs> at the end of the season they are at the top and there's one news that they also won against Alemannia Aachen uh, okay. 3-2 uh, for the FB Pokal, mm. uh, the German Cup. So they won a double that year. Okay. So the Bremen journey was uh, a really, uh, I, I say I support them because of, of the success on that year. Mm-hmm. But after that was was uh, quite uh, slow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you get to see the matches at that time? Were you watching the games at that time? Uh, uh, there's some matches, but not not every week it is not every month mm-hmm. maybe it's quite rare you know uh, yeah. Bundesliga maybe once a, a month the, the match will be broadcast in Malaysia so I think that they, uh, they, they they broadcast a match of a, of a Bremen and München or, or Bayern Munich mm-hmm. they won against Munich in Olympia Stadion 3-1 okay. uh, that that also sealed the the league right. you know so they won the league uh, at away at the Olympia Stadion uh, which is uh, very very amazing for for me but i i think one thing of a bremen is they they are quite conservative team you know mm-hmm. uh, they they don't have quite uh, quite a big money big chunk of money from from the owner because you know the owner of a bundesliga clubs is a 51% is a fan yeah, right. and the other 40 uh, the other 49 is a maybe corporation or or a local company mm-hmm. so uh, this kind of thing even though I, I I was a very small kid, I was a right. very small kid. But other than that, they have a very nice color, which is a uh, green. Uh, you, you can you can always see a, a club with a blue, white, yeah, uh, yellow, or right. maybe red. But it's very rare to find a green shirt color. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that is one thing that I I like uh, of the color. Color is one of the the reason also that why I I support Bremen. Yeah, I think the success of that year. <laughs> made me a fan. What work do you do? I work as a sales engineer at a, one of uh, vendor for Petronas. Uh, okay. It's one of uh, multinational company oil and, uh, that, that involved in oil and gas. So my my job gave me an opportunity to go to Bremen. Yeah. For the first, I mean, Bremen was the first uh, European cities that I go. Right. Uh, Bremen was, uh, uh, you know, first place that I stay over five days wow. in Europe. So there's a lot of things that I did in Bremen, including <laughs> watch a football game. You went for a game. Yeah, yeah, I went for for a game in the stadium. So it was a very, even though there's there's not a lot of foreign fans, but uh, they welcome me. We were very good, you know. Nice. Uh, they helped me. Uh, they helped me to get a ticket because uh, I've booked the ticket. So they said I have to collect the ticket on the day. Mm-hmm. So I go. I went to collect, and they helped me with a very good English. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was in 
in the away side you no know, very very near to away fans okay okay the, the match was with uh, we versus colon okay so colon was a uh, was a good team i think it was a good team mm-hmm. and they have a very noisy fan <laughs> very noisy fan so uh, it was a great uh, match uh, but uh, unfortunately we lost oh. but some of the bremen fan were celebrating because i heard that uh, their manager going to be sacked the uh-huh. next morning <laughs> So I we walk from the stadium to the to the city center, uh, right. or maybe I can call as a train station because the the train station is the city center. Okay. There's a lot of uh, a chanting. I think they are very happy to see their their manager uh, leave the club in the morning. So because I uh, I heard uh, in the press conference also the manager resigned something like okay, that at the okay, time okay. so uh, it, it's not it's not very clear yeah yeah so they've they've been celebrated in the train station with a lot of uh, with a lot of beer <laughs> where were they in the league that year do you remember at which stage were they in uh, how high were they? uh they they were quite uh, the, the bottom 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 half bottom half okay, uh, okay. i think some something like uh, somewhere in 16 or 15 place okay 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 so, It was, it was a tough quite year. bad for them. Yeah, yeah, tough year, tough year, very tough. Yeah, and then and then uh, the and then the one that 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 replacing him uh, was uh, quite a legend for a club. Uh-huh. Uh, his name is a Victor Skripnik. Okay. So he played for Bremen, I think, from '98 to 2004, and uh, Bremen survived that year, 2014. Uh-huh. Okay. It, it was good. You were telling me this amazing story, man, about uh, the factory that you visited. Yeah, uh, that, 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 that's one interesting thing in Germany, I think, because uh, the local manufacturing or the local uh, company mm. are very supportive with their teams. Mm. You know, mm. if in Wolfsburg, mm. I, I give an example, it's not Bremen, in if Wolfsburg, uh, Volkswagen uh, workers are allowed to leave the factory quite early to go to, to support their team. Okay. So in Bremen also, because I went to Bremen at the first time, mm-hmm. uh, so this one uh, WAF company, Okay. I went to the factory on Friday. So the match was on the Friday night. So the the workers are allowed to leave on 3 p.m. You know, okay. so three o'clock yeah, in the evening. So the match uh, around five hours later. Mm-hmm. So the workers are allowed to to take their families and see their friends before the match and having beers or having sausage and everything. So it is a good a good uh, policy from the company right. to give their workers uh, a good time mm. to celebrate their weekend. You know, if they 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 want, I mean, they can. Some of the fan can uh, wake up the next morning and having their own podcast <laughs> with their small small uh, radio in in Bremen. Yeah. So it is uh, a good a good policy of a uh, local company supporting their teams. It's not only in Bremen, mm-hmm. but I think the the best thing is uh, how can a local uh, company support their teams uh, in terms of. Uh, is either money right. or giving support uh, or maybe uh, taking part in a local charity or local uh, local uh, charity by the club because mm-hmm. german club always doing charity to their community so this this kind of small company are involved uh, even they also have one uh, one uh, beer company local beer companies i show you okay the picture this a local Next. yes yeah yeah Yeah, so it is uh, local made in the Bremen. Okay, okay. Locally okay. made, so okay. everyone in Bremen drink the beer. I, I'm not, I'm not drinking any beer, so <laughs> because I, I am not allowed to. But okay. it is, it is interesting to see how uh, local club supporting their beer company. Right. This beer company supporting their local, local club. club. Mm. Yeah. There's that sense of uh, being a small community and supporting one another in that in that sort of space. I think it, it is uh, exactly to say sense of belonging. Right. You know, you belong to each other. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. It's much like that. Yeah. Is is that something that you were interested in the history of the club? Yeah. 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 Of course, the the history of the club back in uh, because this year we produce a JC mm-hmm. 120 years of a Bremen. Uh, we were we were exist on 1899. So. <laughs> So to uh, 120 years already. So there's a lot of uh, history, mm. and also we play in a uh, same ground yeah. for last uh, 100 years. Oh, okay. So Bremen history are 
are always untouchable. Mm-hmm. I also just read some tweets last uh, week. Okay. The fans, the ultras, the ultras of the Bremen, they are they are together to you know to avoid their stadium name yeah. are being sold. Oh, okay, okay. So it was happened last year. Mm-hmm. Now the the stadium was called uh, Von Invest uh, Weser Stadion uh, because we always stick with the Weser Stadion. Mm. So this kind of uh, power with this kind of voice uh, from the fan also are, are very important. Mm. But at the end of the day, we know from the the fan over there, there's a lot of uh, things happening on the management side, yeah. which is I don't want to touch a lot. Yeah. So. Uh, it is it is my my team but of course uh, as a fan we can criticize yes the team even yes. though we love the team very much you know we we are not like german fans are not like uh, the english fan mm. they they don't have any power mm. but german have always have the the power to speak to the club which is why i think a lot of people were upset when a team like uh, leipzig came in yeah yes because of that history of having it's is basically fans own the club and for them it was a shift from everything else that they have known so far yeah yeah traditionally a german club is uh, owned by fan but uh, after a few years because even we have we have a club that owned by a corporation mm-hmm. just like bayern by bayer leverkusen yeah. uh, or even wolfsburg Both. yeah because they owned by uh, bayer bayer is a chemical yeah. company but the bayer itself they built leverkusen Yeah. The city of Leverkusen was built by Bayer. Mm-hmm. Wolfsburg was built by uh, Volkswagen. So for them, Volkswagen and Bayer, they create the community themselves. Mm. You know, they create the company. They give a job to the people. But it's not the same like Leipzig. They don't. They don't have manufacturing in in Leipzig. They don't have any anything that connect to the. To the city. Right. But right. they took over a small club in Leipzig. Mm-hmm. They put. A uh, hundred million of money, mm. even though for me I I don't have nothing against it because they they are their policy are quite good. Yeah. They don't take uh, famous players, but they develop uh, young players to be to be a good player. Uh, but for for German fan, they say this thing is is uh, total total bullshit. Mm. So maybe you can <laughs> <laughs> total bullshit for for German football. But there's also a. Uh, a disadvantage for this because mm. a lot of german club also are quite bad in term of financial yeah, because yeah. some even some of the club we know uh, even borussia dortmund also was bankrupt in 2002 mm. so some of other club also is bankrupt so uh, there's a pro and contra for that yeah. but for me myself i i have nothing against the policy of leipzig of of their their team policy but how they change the club to to be a big club not really connected to them uh, are very you know something like uh, total bullshit <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's that's one that's one word that that uh, that are very you know yeah very 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 suitable for it who is your bremen legend uh, there's no other uh, than uh, than claudio pizarro you know but but i also have my second uh, players uh, which is uh, Miroslav Klose even though his team in Bremen was quite a brief team i think that like from 2004 I, I, until 2008 but it's got quite quite a number of goals mm-hmm. but for Pizarro there's a lot almost i think uh, over 100 goals in Bremen right he, he came back uh, go and back to Bremen four times so he have that kind of a very good relationship with uh, with this club you know first time he, he came in 1999 uh, and then he came uh, he went to bayern 2002 and then he came back in 2009 and then he went back to bayern in 2012 okay <laughs> and then he came back in 2016 or 15 if i'm not mistaken yeah. and then uh, after that he went to cologne 2018 but he came back in 2019 <laughs> it's quite a number of years uh, not, but now he's staying he's still uh, he's, he's now 41 years old right. still uh, quite of uh, very good players and still scoring still scoring still yeah. scoring so pizarro was a uh, was a very prominent figure for almost two decades of the club he's he's a fighter he's a fighter for the club uh, he's a uh, 
his nickname is nicknamed by by the fan the Andes Bomber is because he's from the Andes uh, Andes mountain okay. in Peru <laughs> so he's a is a bomber also for the club in the modern time now we we now depend on a lot of a uh, scientific uh, data mm. and everything the, the kind of footballer from the past two decades they always <laughs> depend on their technical ability their footwork their their positioning yeah. you, know, you know just like inzagi just like ronaldo they can dribble so like inzagi he know when he want to be before he get the ball from his his uh, teammates that vision so this kind of yeah that vision you know uh, and now we depend a lot of on, on data you know even a small player also can play as a striker yeah. you know something like uh, it's different it's very different now because some of 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 this kind of uh, vision you you cannot you cannot learn it is gifted to you it is gifted to you uh who are bremen's uh, rivals it is hamburg is hamburg hamburg is a team from the the north mm-hmm. so uh, it's northern it's northern of bremen and hamburg is a bigger city than bremen mm. but it doesn't mean hamburg have a bigger history <laughs> than bremen <laughs> but uh, they won champions league one time right. which is we, we still cannot cannot uh, do that not yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> well, I, i think uh, bremen won uh, one european cup there's one chance that always uh, we seen uh, in in the game against hamburg uh, we call it a scheisse hsv or or, or scheisse hsv is a high uh, hsv is a shit <laughs> <laughs> so so i always learn about the our fan uh, bremen fan uh, chance right. because to be part of bremen you need to know everything you know you need you need to know the chant mm. you need to know the opening song of the game you need to know the ending song of the game in the stadium right. so this kind of uh, thing make you a true fan even though i'm i'm not saying i'm a true fan of bremen because i'm not always there because i only been there one time mm-hmm. but to know this kind of thing you know you, even i wore uh, raymond i can see that now. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i i collect uh, the the stuff mm-hmm. because you want to be part of of the team you need to be you need to have everything you need to know everything of the team even you need to know about the rival yeah the the the, the hamburg and i'm proud to say we won more games against them so yeah, yeah that's one thing <laughs> that i love <laughs> at, at this stage now bremen are in the 17th uh, place of uh, the bundesliga uh, and hamburg now third in the second bundesliga so they are chance to getting up the third place of the the second bundesliga will go play the playoff match with the 16th place of the the bundesliga team so there's a chance for bremen to go again hamburg for the playoff this year we hope so which is uh, if they lost the game <laughs> could be unlucky for hamburg yeah, yeah. but uh, it could be a joy joyful moment because you won the playoff against your rival i hope that uh, bremen uh, survive the relegation but stay at the playoff stage <laughs> so maybe we can we can uh, win against uh, hamburg yeah sometimes players get overlooked yeah. you know there's two names uh, it was a uh, philip uh, bachfeder and uh, kevin mohval bachfeder was uh, with the team quite a numbers of years because he didn't get a lot of game time but he, he the uh, philip with with the club quite a long time already right. i think like uh, already 10 years oh, maybe okay. 12 years mm-hmm. and last week he get his 200 uh, appearance but uh, the fan of the club didn't praise him much mm. because he played in uh, midfield mm. he played as a central defensive midfielder okay. so maybe he's not look as that functional mm. as uh, other players as a uh, attackers or as the defenders who fighting against the opposition attackers mm-hmm. but i think his contribution uh, at the club is still that good you know yeah. he still want to stay at the club mm. which didn't give him a lot of game time you know you know you, you can find this kind of player that didn't get a lot of game time but he still want to stay at the club maybe he has the sentimental moment with the club uh, you know like uh, 
Chelsea player Paulo Ferreira yeah. at toward the end of of his uh, career he doesn't get that much time to play at, uh, with uh, Chelsea but he still stay with the club mm. until the end of his career which is amazing for for me to learn uh, you don't you you maybe don't have to play much yeah. but you still love the club yeah. you know or maybe like me I didn't have to be in Bremen or I didn't have to be in Germany to, to love the club you know yeah It is it is same meaning yeah. you know, for the second player Kevin Mohval also uh, almost the same case like uh, Philip so uh, he, but he was a good player he was a good player he was a good uh, midfielder so Mohval uh, play uh, I think as a sub as a replacement player quite a lot uh, but still didn't have a chance uh, to be a main player mm. till this moment. And for me, this kind of player are uh, still loyal with the club. You know, you have that loyalty. You know, he came from Nuremberg from the second division, and he tried his best to be to cement his place at, at, at the team. To be honest, Bremen, Bremen is is not a team that produce a lot of uh, uh, players from the academy. They are very good, but we have a good scouting team in the past. You know, we got Mesut Ozil. Yeah. From Schalke, uh, Kevin De Bruyne from uh, Chelsea, you know, because because this kind of scouting team, they 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 scout a young player. Yeah, they they scout a young player, and this young player playing very well for us, and after that they they become a big star, you know. Uh, from Bremen, Mesut Ozil uh, went to Real Madrid, mm. uh, and from uh, Bremen, uh, Kevin uh, went to Wolfsburg, and then he become a star in Wolfsburg, and then he he came to Manchester. City and become a bigger star yeah, there. Yeah. So I I hope for a look for a look at Hoss. You know, mm. look at Hoss is a, just twenty years old. Okay. There's a lot of expectation on him. He played one match to, uh, this year, uh, one league match. That nothing much that I can say about this player, but that's my hope that this player could be a big star one one fine day. On the final day of uh, the, the league, 2015, 2016, we are on the. 17 places, I think. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, I don't really. But we are in a relegation zone, mm. and uh, Eintracht Frankfurt, Frankfurt is in a uh, 15th uh, place, and we will against them. So a lot of fans are very anxious before the game because the only thing we need on that day is win. It's a three point to secure our team. So the game was controlled by Frankfurt, but Frankfurt never score, and we we scored a very weird goal. Okay. And we we won the game. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it was a weird goal because if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was chaos in front of the goal. So it was very, I can say, questionable goal. Okay. But okay. Uh, nothing matters. Three point matters. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nothing matters. But three point, the the three point that we won is matters. So we won the game, and and uh, Frankfurt are going to the playoff. Mm-hmm. And we survive. We survive. We are at uh, 14 place. Okay. We set 30, 38 point. Yeah. So we we are very lucky on on the the, the, the day. It was joyous moment for me, and <laughs> you know, as a Bremen fan, we have a good time uh, in 2003, 2004, and we won a, a cup in 2008, 2009, and then we we up and down. We never have a good time uh, until then, mm. and then we never qualify to European competition anymore. But that's that's the challenge or that's the journey as a Bremen fan. Yeah. You, know? you you don't have that kind of uh, success anymore, but you enjoy to have this kind of uh, success of beating or getting out from the relegation zone, I... or maybe you finish at the top half. It is one thing that you cannot find if you you support uh, Bayern Munich. You always won every year, <laughs> so it is the same thing every year, and it, it is not a uh, an adventure for you because you know what's going to happen at the end of the league. But as a Bremen fan, you never know. <laughs> I watch a game Bremen against uh, Bayern. We were playing in 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 Allianz Arena and we lost six uh, nil. Which is uh, uh, because I was hoping uh, if we get at least a draw, so we can turn the season around. Mm. Uh, but we never, we never do that. <laughs> And but but the best thing of the game, I saw the player playing very well. Even though they lost six nil, it's not because they are playing badly. They are fighting very very well. 
but Bayern are very powerful or maybe you know a very big team so we lost the game 6-0 uh, which is uh, sad for me but uh, also bringing some you know some faith and and also on on the dead season uh, we still survive the league we stay in the league and we never go down to the second league that that's the most important thing yeah. so if that game left you disappointed which game left you elated it was uh, 2013 2014 it was the year that uh, it's very bad for for dortmund okay and the best thing of that time is uh, we won against dortmund in our stadium 2-1 and the, the scorer was uh, david selke and he he was a very good player at that time and i think at the game we are very perfect you know or is almost perfect we won a, a game even though we conceded a goal but uh, dortmund are almost cannot doing anything and at the match uh, i think even the dortmund fan uh, are doing you mm. know fighting with with their keepers yeah. uh, roman weidefeller so if our team can make that to such a big team it is a good a good thing you know yeah. <laughs> emotionally attack the team so it was uh, the first round of the season uh, and then uh, I was it was joyful mm-hmm. you know i i watched the match with a very good feeling it is it is a, one of the best uh, bremen match i watched the scarf is uh, is one of the first thing i bought uh, original okay you know? <laughs> so uh, of course the first thing i bought is a bremen scarf the scarf was uh, the first scarf i wore uh, the, the match i still i still keep it still today Every time I go to Europe, I will bring to 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 the German because that's one you know identity that you want to you want people to see you as a Bremen fan. Mm. You know, even though you are going you going to work as a you know I I always go to to German to attend uh, exhibition. Okay. You know, so if I wore a scarf a Bremen scarf, where did you get that? You know, some some people will ask, will ask me. Oh uh, yeah, I'm a Bremen fan. So uh, it's a conversation conversation starters, and so some some of them are uh, maybe a Bremen fan or maybe a natural fan, natural football fan. Oh yeah, so you are you are a German league fan. So we start to talk with with them. So as this identity that I bring mm. uh, with the scarf, you know, can make can make a lot of new fan for me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's not only a Bremen fan. You know, you you can have a Hamburg fan as your friend. Yeah. You can have a Berlin fan of, as your fan, but this scarf uh, will will always make uh, its impact to help me find a new friend. <laughs> it's been seventeen years. Yeah. Yeah. So, what has this journey meant to you as a Bremen fan? It was it was wow. It is very spontaneous question yeah. that I I. It's make me uh, speechless. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is, it is, uh, you know, some some journey that it built my loyalty. You know, mm. because to to build your loyalty over something, mm. you need you need time. You know, yeah. you need you need um. time. But now, I have no problem to support Bremen at it worst. Yeah, and I also can support them at their best. Right. It is. Uh, very meaningful i think i i can say a meaningful journey yeah. because either it is not the same because i i also uh, uh, for for premier league i am a chelsea fan uh, but it is not the same like uh, chelsea journey yeah. you know for bremen it is something different because there's uh, people asking me why you support bremen bremen is not a good team mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> bremen is not a good team but i know them when they are very good team but why not i support them when they are a bad team mm. that so it make me you know you know it make me very loyal to one team uh, that uh, have have been uh, for 17 years of my life yeah. so yeah, talk to me about singing the song man you uh, they co- they contacted you to uh, make that video they they, they tweet uh, a tweet that uh, asking for a super fan anything there's uh, there's some people that collecting a jersey there's some some uh, some fan that collecting a a team a scarf mm. or anything about about either bundesliga or a team in bundesliga okay. so i i say i never collecting something mm. i never i never collecting a bremen jersey uh, 
but I went to I went to Bayman once. So I ne- but I I cannot speak German at all. I can sing the song. Okay. So they they contacted me. They said uh, it was amazing to to know that. So we want a, a video of, of of it. So I I record the. If you can see, I was in my car. Yeah, I saw that. I learned the song back in 2014 after I came back from Bayman. Okay. <laughs> you heard it in the stadium. Ah uh, yeah, I heard it in the stadium. Yeah. I heard it in the stadium. Uh, after they tweet the video, it was one of the highest highest tweet with with retweet. Yeah, you know, among among the super fan tweets, even a lot of German German fan they said my my German are good. Yeah. You know, as we speak, Bremen is what seventeenth place. Seventeenth place. Yeah, yes. and the the last team in the league now uh, is a uh, Paderborn. Mm. The best thing to to turn the things now is you if you if you need to win you need to win mm. no you need to win the next match the next match the next match you, you need to win so it is it is possible for for the team like Bremen are not controlling the match won the match yeah <laughs> so for for this year even though I asked some of the fans some of them are not are not very uh, hopeful to to survive the league mm. uh, for this year. Uh, because a lot of uh, mess uh, did by the management for the past few years, we always sold our best players to different team to to, to the other team. You know, we we sold uh, yeah, Westergaard to Borussia Mönchengladbach, yeah. and then we sold Thomas Delaney to Dortmund. Mm. We sold Gnabry to to Bayern. Yeah. So this kind of a of the policy, even though we get the money, mm. uh, but it's, it is affect our team performance because. Because this this player, we need to try to convince them to to stay in uh, Bremen and to be a core for the team for at least five years, mm. four years. But uh, management are doing nothing. Sorry, I have to keep <laughs> the, the team a bit. So management are doing nothing. And uh, if we we are going to a second league, it could be a good lesson. But for me, I I don't want because I cannot stand if uh, we see. Hamburg in the first league and I we are in the second league so <laughs> I cannot stand that too uh, so hopefully if if we are going down Hamburg also are going down so if we are going up uh, Hamburg is still going down so it's okay for us <laughs> but hopefully a uh, lot of points for uh, for next uh, next few games yeah we we need to survive at least one thank you for coming on to far away fan and talking yeah, to us about your be, journey i i'm honored to be part of this uh, okay. podcast you know yeah because uh, it is a niche uh, topic that you 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 touch this kind of of thing are not being around yet in but i hope your podcast will be bigger in the future thank you thank uh, you i think you. i think this this uh, podcast is good to know other people you know you have a lot of people from the other country that supporting other club from the other country also so this kind of uh, initiative are very good you know I, i i love i love i love the the the, the team so i hope good, good luck for you for for the rest of the podcast i hope you will doing it until the end of the uh, the end of the world or really. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully because i hope i uh, hope to do it too and it's it's stories like yours man uh, that may, that are really helping me build this because to have a journey like yours from a newspaper looking at a name on the top of the bundesliga table now 17 years later bremen is now fighting relegation and uh, they should be glad to have a fan super fan like you that is quite a journey that's quite a journey because i know them from their success but now i still supporting them at their worst yeah that's it so yeah. so i hope that's the fan uh, i hope i hope i will be with them until end of my life yeah Thanks one. Thanks again. Yeah. And all the best to you and to Bremen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. That was one and his journey with Wood of Bremen. We'd like to hear yours as well. Do get in touch with us on Twitter or Instagram at Faraway Fan Pod. And if you could leave us a review it would be great. It'll help introduce us to some new listeners and help improve the show. Thanks again.